red flag right now is as challenging as it's ever been. The reality is, is the threats are growing in tremendous ways, and to keep up with those, it requires that we continue to accelerate change. Seeing it all for the first time, it really hit my heart. It's almost surreal getting here, and I'm completely honored and grateful that I get to be a part of this mission. Red Flag came about to make sure that our fighter pilots survived their first 10 combat sorties. And they found over time that if we can have the most advanced, most complicated training and we can make those lessons and errors here in a training environment, then we're more survivable when we go to combat. So Red Flag is important for the Vermont team um, as this is our capstone event to sort of prove everything that we've been training for over the past couple of years has taken effect, the training, the flying and everything, and we are, we're good to go both on the op side as well as the maintenance side. And essentially we're, we're ready to support the federal mission if we need to be deployed. So we're the only Air National Guard unit squadron out here at Red Flag in this 21-3 joint U.S. only flag and uh, we are transitioning to fight to the peer adversary so we're fighting against the the best we can train out here so we're, we're fighting in, uh, with F-22s with another F-35 squadron that's never been done before uh, at a Red Flag uh, we're also fighting with our F-16s combining that with the seed mission we're uh, protect, protecting with our escort role uh, both B-2s and B-52s and also some strikers there's some hornets out here for us. This is my first red flag, so it's a bit unlike any other training that I've ever done. It's really helped me personally with, with my team um, and build relationships with each other. Not only relationships, but um, it's enhanced our skills as maintainers as well. Well, this whole exercise is perfect for me because I'm just getting out of tech school and um, I just finished up some training in Burlington and I'm actually lucky to be here today. A spot just happened to open up for me and it's nice being out here in a different environment, um, seeing other types of aircraft. I like the experience that we're getting here. Huge privilege to be out here and this is really our test to see how well we can do with these new F-35s. And we go out here, we do our job, but we enjoy doing it. And that's why I've, I've loved every year that I've been in and I'm looking forward to the next 12 or however long that may be. The training's going great for, for both our fighter pilots and for the maintenance team. So we haven't lost any stories to maintenance. They've given us the jets we needed on time every time. Uh, we're, we're flying 10, 10 of our 20 jets. We brought 14 out here, but we're sending up 10 fronts. It's been spectacular. The Vermont Air National Guard already for the first week has highlighted that we are, we're there. We're, we're ready. We're ready to be used to go to combat.